Hi, welcome to my bathroom. I'm going to be doing a video for you to for you today that has been requested, and it is my um, PM skincare routine. I also will be doing a AM one either tomorrow or another day, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put them together or do separate. So let's get started. Now, what I first use and what I have been using for a few weeks now is this Clinique Take the Day Off. It's hard to read because it's a clear bottle, but it's the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. Now, this is different from the Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Makeup Remover. I think it's eye and lip. This is for everything. Now, I used to use the Balm. Um, not the Balm is the company. The Clinique's Balm that was like this, but I like this a little bit better. I put maybe two or three pumps into my hands and warm them up and then dry skin I go all over and I hope the lighting is okay I have the light on the camera and then the vanity lights that are on the uh, bathroom vanity in this bathroom go all over my face really rubbing it and then the next thing I do is I take a little bit of water, put it in my hands, and I go by the eyes. I keep my eyes closed, and I really kind of lightly scrub so that the mascara gets loose. As you can see, that causes a big mess, but I'm going to get it up. Then I take just a washcloth, I have washcloths and just for my face, so I look like I'm from Halloween or for Halloween right now. I like to shut the water off in between, and I wet it pretty good, but not all the way. And then I just like press it, and then kind of lightly go over it, just to remove the eye makeup. I like to remove the eye makeup before I remove everything. That way, if there's a little bit left of the eye makeup, I kind of just rinse it all off together. And meanwhile, the cleanser, the oil cleanser, I should say, it's sort of soaking into my skin, kind of loosening any makeup that's been there for a while. Just go over it like that. Then I take my hands and I put water and I start just scrubbing really nicely with my hands. And as you can see there, it sort of turns into like a milky, light milky substance. It feels really good on my skin too. Sometimes I add another couple pumps. Today I've had my makeup on for a while. I'll put it on. I want to say about four o'clock and it's now about 11 20. so i had it on a good seven almost half hours what i like also about this one is that i wear contacts and if it gets on my contacts it doesn't make them all like um sword doesn't make it like all filmy. And then I go back with my cloth and I just scrub it off. And that's the first cleanser. Um, I need to move the camera so I'm going to pause you for a second. Okay. So that was the first step in my double cleansing routine. Then I take a cleanser that I like. Currently I'm using this Vanna Cream. Um, this is a gentle facial cleanser. I put maybe two pumps. My face is still kind of wet, but what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit more water from my rag. And then I'm gonna scrub my face. Make sure all that makeup, pollution, grime, whatever I had from being 
No, today it's off my face. And one big mistake I made when I was in my 20s was that I didn't always take my makeup off when I went to bed. And because of this, now I have larger pores. So, I would say the last 10 years or so, I've really been taking care of my skin as best as I can. And I'm going in there with, with the cloth that I've rinsed and put more water on. Making sure everything's off. Sometimes my hair band kind of comes down, so. And I'm going to go one more time. And just kind of press it like that. And I always like to get down here in my, my neck and my decollete. Now I'm going to go behind me and take this towel and just kind of press it. Just to get most of the moisture off. The next thing I'm going to do, because it's a nighttime cleansing routine, is I'm going to put my Murad, and this is the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. I am loving this. It's helping to get rid of a lot of pigmentation. One minute, I'm going to change the battery. So what I was saying is that the next step I do is I use the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. This has really done a great job at bringing down this dark spot I have here and around my mouth. And then on the sides, it's still a little dark, but I do have um, photosensitivity from having lupus. And even though I do put um, sunscreen on, I tend to get the dark spark spots throughout my face. So I put about two to start and I just kind of warm it up in my hand and I rub it all over my skin. And the reason I don't just rub it only on the dark spots is that this also evens the skin tone or it's to help to even the skin tone. It has hydroquinone, which is a skin bleacher and then it has salicylic acid in it too. Then I go with a little tiny pump. Yeah, it's 2% hydrocone, hydroquinone skin lightener. Mm -hmm. Go back in like the darker spots. I have the mirror that way that I need to, need to look at. And over here where I have darker. Here, but here. And then all around here. And I try to be careful not going on the tip of my chin because it gets pretty red if you can see it now like right there it looks like it's pretty red and I don't want it to get irritated but this is a great product it's a little pricey it's about $60 but you only use like two to maybe three pumps um, a night I don't use this during the day I just use it at night to um, treat my skin during the day, I use um, other products along with an SPF, which I'll show you that in the next video. Okay, after I have that, I kind of let it dry down a little bit. And sometimes I'll go and I will take out my Garnier Active um, Micellular Water and take a cotton bud or a Q-tip. And I just wet it real good. And I go back over my lashes to make sure that I've gotten rid of all the mascara and liner and makeup that was on my eyelashes. And this does not irritate or bother my contacts, although I will be taking them off soon. As you can see that right there, it still had some on even when I used my um, makeup remover. Still had some on. Know that if you keep your uh, mascara on, not only it doesn't make a mess of your pillows at night, but it also can help your or prevent, I should say, 
your eyelashes from getting uh, from growing properly. Toss that in the trash. And then I just take a cotton square. This is one of my favorites, actually my favorite, and it's by um, Ulta. It's very soft, comparably soft to the Shiseido pads that they sell, and much cheaper. And then I go over my eyebrows, make sure that I've got all that product that I put in there. A little tiny bit. Okay, so that murad should be fine now. Now I go in with this CeraVe, and it's the Skin Renewing Night Cream. When I first used this, as you can see, I've, I hope you can see I've used quite a lot. I put too much, and it sort of didn't break up my skin, but it just felt kind of greasy in the morning. Put about that much. And I go on the areas that tend to get the driest first. And I know I put some on my forehead here. And I usually get oily. But I also get a combination of like kind of oily with dry. And then I am kind of go over it. Rub it really good into the areas where I see I'm starting to get like a fine line or a wrinkle. Add it good into the skin. And then one more CeraVe product that I like to use in the evening is this PM Moisturizing Lotion. And this I can put like a ton on and my face won't feel greasy. And I like to use this one because it has hyaluronic acid. And it also has nice niacinamide, which helps to treat redness and prevent it from coming back. Now, my skin issues mostly are because I have lupus and it attacks different parts of my body, including my skin, and your skin is the largest organ in your body, so stupid little headband. But anyway, um, so like the redness in the chin, that's like a chronic thing. But with using these products, I have able I have been able to bring down the redness. So that makes me happy. And if I'm having a day where I feel that my skin has been particularly parched, I like to go in with the Skin Diva 100% Pure Hyaluronic Acid. And also sometimes I just go in with the Skin Renewing um, Night Cream by CeraVe. And then I take this... 100% hyaluronic acid instead of using the PM cream and I use that and I'll just show you I take maybe like a half of an ampule and I like to put this right on my fingers if you've never touched this it feels very moisturizing it's like a moisturizing sort of oily sort of not water and I just Put it right into the areas, like I said, where I'm starting to get like a wrinkle or fine line. I have put this around my eyes before, but I don't go very close. I go where you can really see the circle. But just be very careful when you're going around your eyes that you don't get it in your eyes. Because it's not a product to wear for your eyes. And this Skin Diva is cruelty free it's vegan and it's just really nice it plumps and restores and it helps to retain the um, moisture in my skin and this was sent to me by a pr rep at skin diva and you can see i've used quite a lot and i've had this for a while now oh, a few months i just use a little bit at a time like i said i don't use it every night I use it when my skin just feels like it needs a little something. And I do sometimes use it in the morning, too. Okay, so that's my PM skincare. Um, I hope that that made sense and that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions down below, please leave them for me. Comments, questions. If you have not, um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. 
and come on here and be my friend. Uh, there also is a bell somewhere around here. If you click that, it will um, give you notifications when I do upload a video. Uh, I will be doing a P uh, AM skincare next, and then somewhere in between there or after, I'll be doing like my current favors, uh, favors, favorites from September and October. But I'm going to do it in a little different way than I usually do. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this. Take care of yourselves, and I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you this is and I'm going to take my contacts off oh I forgot one more thing my eye cream this is by Bosha and the light is starting to bother my eyes just need to blink a minute this is by Bosha and let me see if I can I'll put the name of it down here because the bright line is preventing me from reading it but I really like it um, it's sort of a like a combination between a cream and a lotion. You see how that comes out, but yet it doesn't really drip. I take one good full-size pump, put it on my other ring finger, and I go all around my eyes, just tapping, tapping over here, and then I go on the eyelids, and around and this way. I'm really massaging that in. I find that this keeps my under eyes um, nice and moisturized but not greasy. And I think it's helping to keep the little crow's feet at bay. I have the little tiny ones when I smile a lot, you can see. But anything you get from a smile I don't think is that bad. So like I said, since I can't read this because of the light, I will put it there for you. And then I will also put it down below. I also use another Bosha product that I like to use in the morning, but I use it at night also. Main thing to remember from this is I double cleanse. I treat for, oh, I put that back there. I treat for the dark spots and to even my complexion. I moisturize. I make sure that my eye makeup is taken off all the way and my face makeup and I put eye cream on and this feels like a serum it's not heavy on the eyes at all I really like it. it's getting kind of low so I probably have to purchase a new one I hope you enjoyed that and I just wanted to add that little bit in there thanks for uh, your patience with the filming but I have my camera inside the medicine cabinet <laughs> propped up on a little jar that has the cotton squares. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.